this step um, is, is pretty cool. First of all, let me just show you what I observe. Somewhere around 181 hertz for my data, these look like they're crossing at the same time. That means they're in phase. They're both reaching a peak at the same time. They're both reaching zero at the same time. They're both reaching each percentage point along here at the same time. That means they're in phase. Now one way we can verify this, we'll just go ahead and stop, is we can plot resistor voltage on a new scope. So I'll just drop this on scope. And then we can plot it versus output voltage instead of time. So if you put it right there on the time signal, drop it right there, then we have resistor voltage versus output voltage. This is a parametric plot. Time is not involved on either axis, but it is involved as far as what the value is. Now when we start sampling data, we'll see a relationship that looks like it's in phase. But what we want to do is um, zoom in on it quite a bit, just so we can see it even better. Okay, and th let me exaggerate this and go out by 10. You'll see that, well, this is not in phase. The values do not match. Um, sorry, I'm there we go. So now we see an ellipse, and if I really change the frequency, we'll see that the ellipse gets bigger and bigger and bigger. When they're in phase, it means, remember again, the definition for being in phase, they both reach a maximum at the same point in time. Right here, what do we have? Values that aren't reaching the maximum in at the same time, and they're both not zero at the same time. So you want to adjust this. Now down here you can change this down to 0.1 and then move this carefully. Okay, so the idea is to find out when these are in phase by doing more precision adjustments here on the frequency. And if you ever type a value, don't, don't forget to hit return on the keyboard, otherwise it won't register. Now if you're finding a problem with this um, responding well to you, a lot of times what I do, and this is the reason I showed you how to make these plots, is I'll just close one of my scopes. And again, you can just create it by dropping output voltage on scope, and then resistor voltage right here, and now we've got that scope back again. So it's not hard to recreate these, but you might want to close a scope window if the other scope window is not responding well.